Shalom. Kohala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations of the whole for elect. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Lord, when his lesson is edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, Esau Edom, the so called white man, is set to come down with great wrath, man. He already telling you this this hurricane season is going to be a turbocharged hurricane season, man. Meaning things is going to be more intense, in which we gave you that warning way back, man. You know, even when you consider this summer, you know, you had all these record breaking heat waves and record breaking heat temperatures, blackouts, and people dying from strokes. Before the summer, you had the record breaking wind chills and Record-breaking uh, low temperatures, people dying in blizzards. Well, hey, this season is going to be more intense, man. You see, because this is the sword that you're dealing with, man. The devil, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, in which this nigga has the power to manipulate the weather. You know, he's got his heart machines. You see, so he can manipulate storms and send them off to certain neighborhoods, man. Certain major and minor cities for destruction to take place and ultimately... It's all going to lead to you, uh, ultimately lead to him uh, rolling out his, uh, you know, that new monetary system, you know, that CHIP, man. You see, because he's going to get the people at a state of vulnerability where you're going to desire relief, and he's going to give you the solution, man. You see? And it's just a real quick article from Entire Headlines. It says, record high ocean temps could turbocharge hurricane season. Yeah, it says record hot. Ocean temperatures could uh, turbocharge this hurricane season, according to scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrations. The NOAA scientists increased the chances that this year will be an above normal Atlantic hurricane season uh, to 60% on Thursday, and in May, the NOAA predicted a near normal. Hurricane season with uh with thirty percent likelihood likelihood on an above normal Atlantic hurricane season. So you see, this nigga predicting for things to be uh more intense than normal, man. Yeah, above normal. In which this nigga he's pretty much manipulating the weather, you know, so he can blame everything on climate change. You see, hey, and ultimately, he pretty much is playing his role in this movie, man. He was set up to take peace from the earth, man. He the devil. <laughs> you see, real quick, this Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4, he's saying, There went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set their on to take peace from the earth. Yeah, and what this horse resembles, man, power. You see, and that person that was red that set upon that horse is speaking of the so-called white man Esau Edom you see he say and that they should kill one another and that was given unto him a great sword you see and this proves that this is speaking of the so-called white man because when you go back to Genesis the 27th chapter Isaac blessed Esau with the sword he said about that sword shall thou live man you see, so this pretty much shows who would be in power in the latter end. And peace would be taken from the earth. When you read the book of Proverbs, it tell you that when the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn it, man. You see, in the planet earth in itself, the animals, you know, along with the people, are all in a state of mourning. Because of the sword is ruling over the planet earth. And he has taken peace from the earth. He's causing natural disasters. And when you consider what's going on in Maui, Hawaii, news is going out that this nigga didn't use the own um, a fucking laser to start the fire, man. You know. So this is the devil that you're dealing with. His position in this movement was to ultimately take peace from the planet Earth, and you're pretty much experiencing it, man. You know. And he's going to continue to come down with his wrath until he's taken out of power, man. That's why, he, that's why you should ultimately rejoice 
at the end of America ruling and having an influence over the planet Earth because as long as this place is erected, wickedness is only going to continue to be forced throughout the four corners of the earth. But once this place is destroyed and put away, like he tell you in the book of uh, Second Ezra, the fourth chapter, starting at the 28th verse, when, when this place is turned upside down, then that which is sown with good is going to pretty much erect in the planet earth and ultimately that's the kingdom of heaven. You know, but this devil got to be taken out first, man. You know, and this is why you should pray for a few days. You see? And real quick, just to get this, this is the book of Revelation chapter 12. In verse 12, he said, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, those of you that dwell in the council and the courts of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You see, he said, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yeah. This nigga pretty much know that his time is up, man. You know, the times of America ruling in the earth, the times of America being an empire in the planet earth is almost up, man. This place is about to get obliterated from off the face of the earth. You see? But lean up to that, this nigga is going to scratch and claw to keep his head above water, man. And it's going to consist of him coming down with great wrath. Hey, having this heart machine do his thing to send forth natural disasters. So what? So he can forge his his own um, his NWO to get the people chip, man. And this is this this guy's idea, his his intents and purposes, man. Certain things is going to take place here in the planet Earth, ultimately right here in America. That's going to lead the people to a state of desperation, and you're going to desire relief, and I'm on a relief. For you on the right, on the left hand side, is to for you to receive the chip, man. You see, but this is why the prophets is out giving warning, ultimately to you so called Negro Latinos and Native Indians to ultimately tell you to trust in the Lord, because that's where your salvation lies, man. You know, wait upon the Lord, and the Lord will work for you, man. You see, if you doubt, you die. You see, so trust in the Lord and be confident and be of good courage, because in these times we headed towards, if you trust in the Lord. Hey, he'll cap here and cap around about you, man. You see? Matter of fact, um, what's that? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 17, and verse 13. He says, Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shall disappoint him, cast him down. And who is this talking about? The wicked, man. You see, deliver my soul from the wicked. Which is thy sword. And this is speaking of the so-called white man, Esau Edom. Saying that in the book of Genesis, the 27th chapter, he was given the sword as a blessing, man. And by the sword, he was going to live. And the heart machine is a part of his sword. Him being able to manipulate storms, man. You know, to make it brutally cold or intensively hot. To send forth massive rains and flood. Or to freeze you out with snow blizzards. To send forth hurricanes and tornadoes. This guy has the power to do that. You know, he's the sword of the most high on the left hand side. And he do the he do the business of the most high on the left hand side. He's the physical counterpart of Satan in the planet Earth. You see? And he said, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down. And which that should be a desire, man. For the wicked to be cast down. You see? Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, and which this is we look, this is what we're looking for. To be delivered from the hands of the wicked, to be delivered from his snares, you know, his storms, the scenarios that he's setting up to get the people to receive in his karag receive his karagma, you know, to trust in him. You see, like this famine that he's on. That he's pretty much uh, uh, setting up to take place in America. And we're looking to be delivered from all that, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shah. You see, because that's, who I, that's where our deliverance is going to come from. You know. Um, in real quick, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 27. And verse on, let's see. 
We just started verse seven. He said, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou said it, seek, my, seek ye my face, my heart said uh, unto thee, thy face, O thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou has been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O power of my salvation. See? Yahweh is the power of our salvation, man. You know, skipping down to verse 14, he said, Wait on the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord, see? So, hey, we are pretty much commanded to wait on Yahweh Bashim Shah. And not to trust in this devil because he finna come with it, man. You know, again, he already telling you that he finna send forth turbocharged hurricanes, man. You know, so you can look for intense rain, floodings, intense wind, you know, just destruction. And ultimately, this is how the Lord is visiting the earth. The Lord is using Esau to pretty much do his business, man. He tell you how he was going to visit you through storm and tempest, you know, and these things is ultimately going to be intensified, man, in which this devil has the technology to do it. You see? Let's see if something else I wanted to get. Huh. Yeah, I would say that Psalm 33 and verse 18, he says, uh, let me see. Matter of fact, we start verse 16. He said, there is no king saved by the multitude of hosts. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. And horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he be so like neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Yeah, you see, because ultimately deliverance comes through your house shot, man. So there's nothing that you can run to that's going to be able to deliver you in the season you headed towards, for the lack of better terms. You see, he said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. You see, and this was about to take place on a broad scale, man, death and famine. You know, you lacking answers. You know, to you lacking resources, man. And great death. You see people dropping dead from heart attacks from taking that juice. This nigga Bill Gates beefing with Elon Musk telling saying this nigga wanna waste his money on investing in space. Well, I'd rather put my money in investing in jabs. You know, he on that deep pop, man. So we need Yahweh Bashim Shah to deliver us from death. Which you fit to see death take place on a broad scale, man. You see, he say our souls waited for the Lord. See, they go that wait again. You have to wait on your how about Shema was shot. He is our help and our shield, for our hearts shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hoped in thee. You see, so your hope and desire is to be delivered in these times, man. To be kept safe from the snares of the devil and from the devices that he has coming down the pipes, man. You see, but Lord willing, it was edifying to the elect of those seeking salvation. To our Lord Yahweh Shah is always giving our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem. Rahakwadash, Lord, waits in this video. Shalom.